There is major drama going on right now with Sydney Sweeney, and it has people saying that she's being the real life Cassie all over social media. It's a mess, so let's get into it. For the past few months, Sydney Sweeney has been in Australia filming a new rom com called Anyone But You. The film has been described as being a rated rom com, and that's been pretty obvious judging by the paparazzi photos that emerged during filming. A lot of people are saying that Sydney and her co star Glenn Powell are looking like they might have a little bit too much chemistry. Normally, for a rom com, that would be fine. For a rom com, I want my leads to actually have chemistry. I want there to be chemistry so strong that I actually believe that you could be a couple in real life. But both Sydney and Glenn were in relationships, with Sydney even getting engaged last year to Jonathan Davino and Glenn being in a relationship with Gigi Paris. For weeks, people have been speculating about something going on between the two of them, and those rumors only intensified as more and more pictures started to be released. There's pictures of them being extremely close, going to the zoo together, hugging, sitting next to each other, pictures of Sydney bonding with his family, and then there's this video. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. People have been keeping a close eye on Glenn's girlfriend Gigi's Instagram story, and apparently she's been subtly dropping hints about something going on. The tweet says, Gigi is throwing all the possible signs and clues out there without explicitly saying anything. And one of those signs was Gigi posting the song Thinking About Love by Wild Rivers and Silver Springs by Fleetwood Mac. They also showed a quote that Gigi posted which says, gut feelings are guardian angels. Of course, this could just be one big PR move to promote this movie, but that's not the popular opinion right now, especially after the interview Sydney and Glenn gave this week at CinemaCon. A video was posted to TikTok of Sydney and Glenn talking about their experience filming together. The whole experience was absolutely yeah. incredible. We, we got to literally take over Australia. It's mm -hmm. like, this movie is the like the tourism board of Australia just gave us carte blanche on anything we wanted in Truly, the whole place. So we could do anything. It was so much fun. There was one. There was one day where we were literally uh, took over the Sydney Opera House, and that was that was pretty epic. And Barack Obama watched us film the scene. Yes, he did. That was pretty memorable. And Glenn landed a helicopter and jumped yeah. out of it. It was really cool. There we go. And that was just improv. I just didn't even. The helicopter wasn't even planned. And right away, people were picking up that this was a little bit more chemistry than most on-screen love interests have. There's so many comments saying things like, just Cassie being Cassie. I feel like I'm interrupting something. This is giving Cassie in real life. The way she's looking at him, I'm sick. They just got closer and closer and closer. Everybody knows, everybody knows that he... And to top it all off, it sounds like Glenn's relationship with Gigi has officially come to an end. Gigi posted a video of herself on Instagram with the caption, know your worth and on to the next. People Magazine is confirming the news as well, claiming to have spoken to a source who claims they've been broken up for a while now. Gigi and Glenn had broken up several times. They had been on the rock since Top Gun came out. Gigi was never happy with the long distance filming, and when she came to Australia, where Powell was filming Anyone But You, they both decided to break up for good. And Gigi is getting a ton of support over on her Instagram with people writing things like, if it's true, you deserve so much better. I love how quickly this happened. No time for messing about. No time for disrespect. But I can't say Glenn and Sydney have been getting the same type of support. A few of the top comments over on Glenn's Instagram read, respect your partner, truly disappointing. And it's been public information for a while now that Sydney is engaged, which adds a whole other layer to this whole situation. Since Sydney's fiance is pretty low key and isn't on social media, there hasn't been much room for people to dig and look into things, but there has been paparazzi photos. He was spotted leaving their house with pack bags, a dog bed, and his golf clubs. Sydney Sweeney's fiance, Jonathan Davino, was spotted leaving Sydney's LA home with packed bags. Yesterday, he was spotted by TMZ walking Sydney's dog. And today, he said, I'm taking the dog, dumbass. He has a doggy bed, golf clubs, pack bags, and that hair, this man has been through the ringer. But some people in the comments are giving a different outlook on the photos, writing, he's literally going on a golf trip. And he could just be leaving for travel or work. 
But the Daily Mail is reporting that Sydney was actually seen without her engagement ring on. So we have our first spotting of Sydney Sweeney since CinemaCon. She was spotted out in LA. Now, this is fresh off of the Glenn Powell and Gigi Paris breakup. Also, there are photos of her fiance, Jonathan, leaving their home. These photos came out yesterday of him, you know, taking his stuff out. Of course, you know, a bunch of bags, his golf club. Baby, he even took the dog with him. The whole travel bag plus doggy bag and everything. Now, of course, this looks like an obvious pap walk. You know, I don't know what the temps are in LA right now, but I don't really see why you'd be wearing a whole sweatsuit in like the early afternoon. But baby, the paparazzi caught a good old close up of her hand because there ain't no ring. The way that me and my pop culture group chat have bets on what's going to play out after the whole mess of CinemaCon and the breakup. Even though the general consensus seems to be people thinking something is going on between Sydney and Glenn, I've also seen a lot of comments saying it's an obvious PR stunt to promote the movie, and I mean, clearly it's kind of working. I know I personally would have never heard about this movie before this whole drama happened, so I could definitely see that being the motive here. But then again, judging by Gigi's Instagram posts alone, it does sound like she was actually hurt, and I don't feel like she'd agree to being part of this kind of PR move. A lot of people are saying that even though it might be a good PR move because it's getting people talking, it's also making people not want to support Sydney and Glenn when this movie comes out. Some of the comments say, well, the PR failed because I'm still not watching. Boycott the film. Let's not watch it and support Gigi. I wanted to watch the movie. Now, I don't. Let's say that all the Glenn Powell, Sydney Sweeney stuff is just PR for their new movie because there is a good chance that it is. Now, do I care? Personally, no, I do not. I want to be entertained. I want to believe in a narrative. I want to believe in a story that you're telling me. Even when it's fake, I love when movies have rumors of offset drama and there's like a good salacious story I can sink my teeth into and nibble on. Did Harry Styles actually spit on Chris Pine at the premiere of Don't Worry Darling? No, he did not. But did I choose to believe it for like a day and a half just because I thought it was funny? Yes, I did. I've never laughed harder. But the truth is, we really don't know what's going on. It could be another situation where people are reading into things too much, it could be PR, or there could actually be something going on between Sydney and Glenn, but only time will tell. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below and I'll see you next time.